Welcome to Powered by Snowflake, a series where I interview technology leaders building applications and businesses on Snowflake. I'm your host, Daniel Myers, and today I'm talking with Charles Jardina, founding engineer and director of platform engineering at Airbyte. Airbyte is an open source ETL platform powered by Snowflake. Charles, how are you today? I'm great. Thank you for having me. So I want to learn more about you as a founding engineer of Airbyte. Tell me about what exactly makes Airbyte different. The key thing for Airbyte is that we're coming from an open source approach. And so that has allowed us to build a huge community very quickly. But the really important thing is it makes it very easy for us to build connectors much more quickly and empower our users to build their own connectors so that there's nowhere that data is that we can't get at it. I love that you are a open source first company. I mean, I think that is a, a phenomenal way to really grow this broad community of users. Tell me more about as a founding engineer, that founding story. Yeah, so we started right as the, the pandemic was beginning. And you know, as a startup, we knew that this ETL problem wasn't well solved, but there are also a lot of companies out there. And so we're trying to find our way in. And the more we looked, the more we found that there's this open source community that was really looking for a path forward, a, a tool to, to coalesce around, and they, they didn't have it. And so that was really the wedge we, we, we found to get Airbyte going. Love it. We really started with open source. We were able to build huge traction there to the point that uh, we recently went over 10,000 GitHub stars uh, a couple weeks ago, which is a super exciting milestone. Yes, absolutely. So tell me more about the scale of the company. Where where are you today and in, in, in number of employees, number of customers? Uh, tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, for sure. So Airbyte, we're about 100 employees right now. Our open source community is growing incredibly quickly, and we have tens of thousands of users in the open source space. Our cloud product is less than a year old, and already we're seeing exponential growth in terms of adoption there, which has been really exciting. That does sound very exciting. So tell me about the scale of the platform that you've built. So how much data are you processing on a regular basis? At this point, it's on the order of hundreds of terabytes a day, but... Looking around the industry, my previous experience was in ad tech where we were processing petabytes of data a day. And so essentially that's that's where our sites are right now is being to the point that we're processing petabytes a day within the next year or so. That's going to be a really exciting milestone. So what are the main points of, of contention here and, and how you've built up this scale? Yeah, so I think the key piece of the Airbyte architecture is that we are Docker first everywhere. And so essentially, if we're building a source that is a fully contained Docker container, it can run all by itself. You can run it in your command light if you really wanted to. The same thing with our destination. So our Snowflake destination, for instance, that's all running in a single Docker container. And so what that has allowed us to do is avoid any sort of like pairwise machinations where, oh, you need to have the Postgres to Snowflake connector and then the Facebook to Snowflake connector. We're able to independently build up all of those connectors and that makes it so it's easy to run in the open source world on someone's laptop, but then also in Kubernetes and in our cloud environment as well. So that's exciting. So I want to see a demo of this in action. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to jump into the Airbyte app here. What we're going to do today is move data from Postgres to Snowflake, which is one of our most popular ways of doing things. And so just to sort of prove it out first, I'm going to show you that we have some data in our Postgres database over here. We're looking at models of cars. And so we're going to move this data into Snowflake. And so if you hop into the Airbyte UI, the first thing you're going to do is set up a Postgres source. And before I jump into the Postgres source, I want to highlight how many connectors we have. So I was talking about this earlier as an open source platform. We've been able to scale up the number of connectors we have so that we're over 200 sources in less than a year. And you can really walk through all of the different types of sources that we support. So whether it's databases, your marketing tools, your sales tools, product analytics, et cetera, et cetera. So hopping back over to Airbyte itself, I'm gonna go ahead and set up a Postgres source. Cool, so what we've done now is we've verified that the credentials that we provided, we're gonna be able to connect to our Postgres database under the hood. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take that Postgres database and connect it to Snowflake. And so we're gonna go ahead, this is the pre-populated one that I've called demo data. And similarly, I've gone ahead and created a, one of our Snowflake destinations already. One of my favorite features working with Snowflake as a destination 
is the internal staging environment that, that Snowflake provides. A lot of other destinations, you have to set up a separate GCS or S3 bucket, which ends up putting a lot of burden either on the ETL platform or the user to manage all of that. But Snowflake, we're able to just go ahead and get in there. And it ends up being a very efficient way to pipe data into the platform. So really, really grateful for the feature. And so now that I've told Airbyte, okay, I want to connect this source to this destination, what it does is it goes to Postgres and it says, what data do you have for me? So in this case, in our, our little sample data set here, we have a pretty simple data set of products, purchases, users. For now, we're just going to go ahead and, and move our products. And for what we want to do today, essentially, we want to move that data incrementally. So what does that mean? It just means if, a, you know, the cyber truck is added to that products list in the future, or we'll send the cyber truck, but not resend the Mazda and all of the other future ones. And so we can set up a cursor field that way. The other thing to highlight as we're setting up this connection is all of the other options that you have in terms of how frequently do you want your data to move? Is this something that needs to be updated once an hour or once a day or once a week? as well as giving you a lot of fine tuning to be able to make sure that that data goes into Snowflake exactly where you want it. So which schema you want to put it in, et cetera. And so we have now told Airbyte, yep, I want to go ahead and move my, my product data over. And we can see a sync is going to get kicked off. Let's hop over to Snowflake now and see our data start to appear there. And so very quickly, we're able to see our product data is already populated in Snowflake, making the process of getting your data from Postgres to Snowflake incredibly easy. Yeah, this is a beautiful solution that you've built. And I love how easy it makes it for data engineers to build, deploy, maintain these data pipelines. Yeah, absolutely. I look around our industry. We spend so much time talking about moving data. And as much as I love doing that, that's what I've been doing for the last decade. I want our industry to move past talking about moving data and move on to talking about how we use it. So yeah, uh, totally agree. So tell me more about the, the how and why you chose Snowflake for this platform. A lot of it was listening to our open source community, frankly. When you think about the problem that everybody is trying to help solve of you have data in all of these disparate sources and you want to pull it together. Snowflake is a fantastic option for your data warehouse. It is a great place to take all that data together and really start to drive intelligence out of it. So yeah, that sounds, that is really interesting to hear. And I think that is a very powerful statement to say, you know, that you, you've seen customer demand, right? You've seen demand out in the field from these open source communities. And that is why you chose Snowflake. That, that's pretty cool. Tell me more about some of the key features uh, from a technology perspective that has made your life as a as you know the team building out this platform made your life easier building this so we dog food our own product yeah. at, at airbyte so all of our analytics operations are also running on airbyte which one is you know another great source of feedback but two has left us in a position where we're able to give great input into our own product and make sure that we're building something that delights us too that makes that makes total sense so from here over the next six to 12 months, what would you say is the most uh, thing, the things that your customer should get most excited about? Yeah, for sure. So I think there's a couple things to be excited about. One, we're going to be rolling out a, a no code uh, connector builder. So you will be able in the Airbyte UI to build a connector following a wizard. And so getting to the place where there is no data, like as long as you can get it by, by HTTP or TCP, you don't need to be an engineer to get it. Everybody's going to be able to enable that. So there's no data that's out of reach for us. And then the second is we're really excited about how Snowflake native apps are, are shaping up. And our goal coming from that open source architecture is that Airbyte can run anywhere, right? So we can run in open source and on people's environments. We have our own cloud product as well. We could run in Snowflake native apps and make it even easier for users, Snowflake users, to take data from whatever data source they have and, and pipe it into Snowflake. That's beautiful. You know, I think native apps on Snowflake are going to be a real game changer in the industry for one of the simple reasons being that you get a click to install experience. And so it simplifies the setup and, and, and maintenance of these data pipelines, you know, and, and I think Airbyte is going to be a, a, a huge benefactor to that. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I mean, my demo was relatively short, but if you 
add Airbyte into Snowflake native apps, you actually remove two thirds of all the work I had to do in that demo. You can make a lot of it one click, which will make it even easier for, for users. That's going to be awesome. So Charles, where should people go to learn more or get started with Airbyte? Yeah, so head over to airbyte.com. They will be able to learn about our cloud product and our open source product. And there's a link to our uh, open source Slack community. And so that's where you'll be able to work with our support team, with engineers like myself and the rest of our community to get going with Airbyte. Fantastic. And I want to say a big thank you for joining me in the studio today. It's been amazing learning all about the Airbyte platform and how it's powered by Snowflake. Thank you very much, Daniel. And for all of our viewers, if you want to learn more about how to build your next business or application on Snowflake, check out developers.snowflake.com. And if you want to see other interviews like this with technology leaders in the space, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. My name is Daniel Myers. This has been another episode of Powered by Snowflake. See you next time.